What is up, everybody? He, he, he in the house. This is Fox Tech One here, showing you guys some Cydia tweaks. These Cydia tweaks are not in order, so don't worry. Um, these Cydia tweaks um, are the best that you can that are are capable for your iPad too, because you know some applications from Cydia and some tweaks from Cydia will not work on your iPad too because they love the iPhone better than us. But anyways, what we got here, as you see I had tons of things on there. I'll show you guys. Um, this will be, I'm going to try to make this a fast video. So some of these things might be a little short, might be a fast. Um, just hang with me. Uh, I'll give you a good detail of what all these tweaks does. But anyway, let's get in it. The first, the first tweak is 3D board as it says right there. Um, what 3D board in the background? If you can see when I lift this up, it follows my movements from the uh, iPad. Um, the background is moving. It makes it feel like my uh, applications are in 3D, which is pretty freaking cool if you ask me, bro. Um, that's 3D board. Um, these applications are free, but on uh, the Big Boss repo, they are not free. You're gonna need to add. Um, insanely repo and that will be, get you all these things free I'll put it in the link in the description so don't worry if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about anyways now next week number two is activator what activator will let you do you can do tons of things say you want to slide up top side left I can uh, enable SBS settings on that that's a cool tweak to have say like your, your uh, notification center you want it to you know you want your notification center to come from like the the right side or the left side that will that's what activation uh, activation activator will let you do <laughs> um, next tweak here we got guys Android lock XT what Android locks XT will let you do it's a lock mechanism if you're tired of that old slide to unlock I hate that you just tap this or you can slide it too you can tap it and do a little I don't like how it's not like you know full pad but whatever you still can use it um, you draw your pattern that you make in the beginning I remember when I first got my iPhone and I hacked it I mean I jailbroke it I forgot my pattern and I could not figure out my pattern so make sure you guys figure out your pattern before you uh, lock it you go into here you go into pattern draw your old draw your pattern you can change your appearances you can tap to open um, or you can slide to open. You can go into the themes. You can make. You got tons of themes here. Or you can go change behavior. You can uh, make wrong attempts. Make sure. Make sure you tap when you're first doing this, guys. Make sure you put on ensure mode just in case you don't remember it at the first time. Um, this is a good tweak if you want. Like people, you unlocking it, and you and tons of people are like, "Oh, dude, I can't get. I'm going into your iPad. You don't want them to." This is a good tweak for you guys to have. I like this. It makes it more fun. Blurred background is what you, you saw here. It was purple. Um, I don't know why it's purple. That's the first color I put it on, but uh, don't judge me. Anyways, what this, what this uh, you can see it's purple. Um, I'll go into blurred background. I'll not tint it. I'll make it disabled. And you can see it goes straight through. It's pretty cool. I'll make the blur volume go down so it goes completely through. There's not really any color there. So that's pretty legit. I like this. Um, our next tweak is custom grid. What custom grid you saw, I had tons of applications here. This is what it does. I got seven and then ten across. It is pretty nice. I love this tweak. Um, It'll make all those, and you can put as many, it's like a, uh, you can put it on your folders, um, you can hide dots, hide, hide your labels. Only bad thing is about when you change something, you have to respring. I hope, I hate those applications where you have to do that, but whatever. Our next week is uh, side delete. What side delete will let you do, say you have an application from Citya, and you don't want it anymore, you don't want to go to Citya, go to install, and then hit delete. That takes a lot of work. All you do is hold it like any other application, delete it right from your springboard. That's pretty cool, I guess you could say, or how I say pretty freaking cool, bro. But anyway, flip over, what flip over will let you do, you think about it, what the heck is flip over? What flip over will let you do, you just flip it over, and it locks itself. It just locked itself. I flip it back over, and then it unlocks itself. That's pretty cool to have, I guess. I believe it does work on your iPhones. Um, I think it works better on your iPhones, but whatever. I wanted to try it out. It looks pretty nice and nice. It's almost exactly like uh, 
if you have a smart cover. It's almost exactly the same thing. So that's pretty cool to have. What our uh, next week here, here we, here we got guys is full force. What full force lets you do? See all these applications. All these applications are iPhone tweaks, iPhone apps. Um, we got balloons. Balloons light, I believe, is not in. Um, doesn't not have an application for um, iPads. But as you can see. It is full. I don't know why it's facing the other way, but it does not pixelate it. It's when I when you do it, you have the thing down here. We have to press a button. Oh, that's weird. What the heck? Huh? Well, that wasn't a. I'm gonna have to edit this thing now. Fuck me. All right, guys. Our next tweak here is full force. What full force lets you do? Say you have an application from your iPhone, and you, I have Minecart from uh, <laughs> Minecraft, and it shows you all the things. As you see, all these do not work. Some of these will not work with your uh, iPad, but some of them will. As you see, the it doesn't full my screen, but it will work. We don't want to use that one. Um, I don't remember any. Oh, we got this one. You speed test it doesn't work either. Some of them will not work, but some of them will do. I'm going to have to edit that. I'm going to have to find one that does work. Oh, Blingo. Let's go to Blingo. Where's the fucking Blingo? There it is. Let's see if Blingo works. Do you work, you little bastard? Nope. You don't work either. Huh. Wells Fargo does. Okay. What up, every... Um, <laughs> Our next tweak here is full force. What full force lets you do is, you know how you have your iPhone applications and they're really small and when you open it up, like you push the button down there and it zooms in, it's very pixelated. But what this lets you do, it lets you uh, open it up and it'll be zoomed in and it will uh, look it will look nice. Um, as you see, it looks pretty nice on this. It doesn't go full force. I can tap on it and it do my iPhone and everything. It looks with the uh, Wells Fargo app. It uh, it wouldn't let me do that before. But some of these will not work. Like Vlingo, this is for your iPhone, and you can see it's up there on the side. It looks all freaking weird. Like so, don't be excited that it will work for everything, which it will not. <laughs> Our next one is Infinity Board. What Infinity Board will let you do? Put tons of applications down here. Say if I wanted another one, we'll put. This application right here, it'll add and it'll go to the next row, which is pretty, pretty nice. I like Infinity Board. It makes my board look so, so sexy. Okay, our next one is Infinity Dock. What Infinity Dock lets you do is you put tons of icons on per page. I'm an idiot. All right, everybody, our next. Just, rah, rah, rah. Our next uh, city a tweak here. Our next, our next, uh, rah, rah, rah. our next tweak. Uh, our next one here is Infinity Dock. As you see, I skipped Infinity Board because Infinity Board really doesn't do anything. It's just like an add-on to your Infinity Dock. What it and what Infinity Board does. What up, everybody? Our next tweak here is Infinity Board. What Infinity Board lets you do is you, you can put tons of more applications down below. So if I put that right there, you can put tons of it down here. It's not doing it for me, but what the fuck ever. I'm just lit. How long is this already? Eight minutes. All right, everybody. Our next week here is Infinity Board. What Infinity Board lets you do is put tons of more applications below before you couldn't like scroll like this. But what this lets you do is you can keep putting more and more applications below and below and below. It's a pretty cool tweak, but I don't use it that much because it gets annoying. All right, our next tweak here is Infinity Dock. What Infinity Dock lets you do is put tons of applications on your dock. Simply said like that, you can put up to ten. You, you can put up to ten to one page, but you can have pages on it, which is pretty effing cool bro alright our next tweak here is an ex in intelli in our next tweak here is IntelliScreen X. What IntelliScreen X lets you do is in your notification center. It does cost like nine bucks. You cannot get this one for free. Um, it, you can look at your mail. Um, you can look at your Facebook. You can look at your Twitter. You can look at uh, Google News and you can clear all of it if you wanted to. You can just clear, 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 clear all the news and then go back up into it, which is pretty nice. I like this, it makes it look, it makes it more interesting. You can go to timeline, all this good 
mumbo jumbo if you know what I mean but it's pretty nice to have and it also adds this thing up here where you can uh, change your <laughs> brightness but for some reason it does not work for me I don't get that but anyways you can turn off airplane mode turn off Wi-Fi turn on data if you have data but I ain't that rich so I don't have data for pay thirty dollars a month or something like that and then you also have your data over here which I don't want to show you and you can that's what and so it costs like nine bucks um, this I'm doing a free trial so yeah our next one is multi flow what multi flow lets you do say open up sex secrets um, Facebook um, Grand Theft Auto and then we'll open a flipboard and what you do I can that's just what activators for I have tons of these pages open you can't really see it because I have one right here and it's dark <laughs> but anyways you can just tap it and it'll go straight to it well, that's what multi-flow it's pretty nice it's like another way to uh, use your uh, recent thing I don't I forget what to call that I never I never really realized what to call it overflow is a nice thing to have I'll turn it on right now and show you guys what it does is just this little nice thing for you I do not recommend this for your iPad because it look at this it looks kind of stupid because it just dents it in and it doesn't do as a good job as it does on the iPhone. Our next one is Rent-A-Pad. What well, Rent-A-Pad does a, does the almost exact same thing as Full Force where it opens up your iPhone apps and zooms it in way better and it's not as pixelated. This will help if want something from Full Force will not work. It will do it good on um, Rent-A-Pad. Our next one is Screen Dimmer. What Screen Dimmer does is let, in a couple seconds, I'll turn it on 5 for you. In a couple seconds, you're going to see that it's going to dim itself. Count to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. See, it dimmed itself. That's what Screen Dimmer is. It's good to save tons of battery if you want to save battery on it. Um, it's a nice, uh, app I'll call this an application. You can get this for free, but if you see it on the Big Boss, it costs like $1.99, but whatever I this is the most recommended um, tweaking application that you can find it's called spring to mice spring to mice 5 but it doesn't say that but it's spring to mice 5 what it'll let you do is tons of tweaks you can make your things go really faster you can change your lock animation you can change your uh, flash color you go to capability you can hide things you can make things go you want your front facing camera off or on on your dock you can make tons of docks you can do the cover effect high dock hide labels hide reflection use numbers you can do tons of things lock screen you can do tons of things you can slide for put whatever you want on your uh, sliding knob um, you can delay dimming you can do tons of things always show camera your lock screen that's I just went there your icons you can make your icons this is like a if you do not want Bigify, this is what I recommend. You can uh, resize your uh, applications and do whatever you want in that. You can resize them, resize them. And hide newsstand, that's a good thing to have. I, I have it on because I don't need newsstand. You can hide app switcher. See, that's what that is. This is what app switcher is. Um, I always forget to say that. Um, whatever you can do folders you can add folders you can put uh, how many folders you want you can create a dock in your folders you can do tons of things if you want anything if you're not even thinking about uh, jailbreaking and you wonder why people jailbreak this is the tweak that you get because you want to jailbreak this is why people jailbreak this is a new thing going on this is like I recommend jailbreaking just for this. But our next thing here is Winterboard. What Winterboard lets you do is another thing people would love to do. Use this for um, tweak, no, not tweaking, but uh, customizing. I can change up this whole Retina display. It's not Retina display, but I can change this whole display up into a different thing. I can use it as a Call of Duty display. I can you can change it up to anything. You, there's so many uh, iPad and iPhone. Um, themes you can change this up to whatever you want you can even change it to a, a Mac theme there's so many themes that you can do um, and what we have here in the notification center I'll put it I'll put them in the description we'll go to we'll go you have to look at it through we'll go to notification center um, what I 
what I have in my notification hut. Huh, the next thing I want to show you guys really quick is my notification things. As you as you saw before, I had tons of things going on here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six things going on in my application center. The first one is iOS. I already showed you that. It was this one right here. Intelli screen. That's what Intelli screen right there's ticker whatever. The next one is simple date. What simple date?